on to scenes we'd like to see. So if everyone can make their way over to the performance area, please. I'll read out this week's topics and then we'll see what our panelists can come up with. OK, here we go. The first subject is unlikely things to hear at the World Cup. And there they are, Scotland through to the final 16. <laughs> <laughs> unlikely letters to television channels. Dear Babe Station, have you actually read the trade's description? That <laughs> History Channel. The Nazis were bad. We get it. <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely lines to hear in a kid's film. Mr Von Trapp, I'm here from the council. We've had complaints about some terrible singing coming from your house. <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear in a cookery show. Golden, Golden, relax. We're doing a bit of dinner, mate. <laughs> You're not sorting out the Middle East, dear. <laughs> Unlikely things to hear on a history documentary. And on Time Team tonight, we're in Stratford on Avon, where we've uncovered loads of monkey skeletons and some typewriters. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I'm not interested in all this old nonsense, really, but um, <laughs> since the end of Black Adder, the world's been fairly hard to come by. <laughs> Unlikely things to hear over at Tannoy. Could all the people shopping here at Hasda please accept that you are piss poor? <laughs> <laughs> Could the owner of the Ford Fiesta 1100 in the car park with the tinted windows and the go faster stripes sort your life out, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely agony aunt letters. I'm 26, my girlfriend's 36. Is 10 years too big an age gap? Because her daughter's 16, she's a right little soul. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Deirdre, I'm from Nigeria, and I'm fed up of Mickey Flanagan mocking my accent. <laughs> See you for a long time. But I can't get out of the <laughs> Unlikely things to hear at Wimbledon. Andy Murray here. Um, um, Andy Murray not being able to make it here today. Uh, but we do have his cab driver on the other line. Can you tell us what's occurred? <laughs> I can't get out of the <laughs> Unlikely questions from this year's exams. Who's the chap in the A team who would not get on the aeroplane? Was it A, B or B, A? <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of that round thing that they throw in the Olympics? Discuss. <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely things to read on a motorway sign. For those of you looking for more safety tips, text now. <laughs> Pick us up a pint of milk tail, thanks, Trace. <laughs> Unlikely lines from children's books. And as Eeyore put the noose around his neck. <laughs> <laughs> so Emily learned. If she'd just been a nicer little girl, Mummy and Daddy would never have got divorced. <laughs> Unlikely things for a sports commentator to say. And here we are at the uh, women's football, uh, but while you're enjoying the game, please spare a thought for the men at home who are going without dinner this evening. <laughs> <laughs> and here at the British Grand Prix, we've already had a couple of fatalities. Yes, two of the crowd have died of boredom. <laughs> Thanks for all those fantastic statistics there, Motti. Now go and get a fucking life. Unlikely things to hear in a police station. Here, <laughs> <laughs> Sarge, the microwave's broken again. Taser that meat pie for me, will you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, here, Sarge, pass us the art section out the Guardian, will you, mate? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to arrest her, size, but to be honest, my bottle went because she shouted out, I'm putting a curse upon you! I'm putting a curse upon you! <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next topic is. 
on likely things to hear in a science documentary. Erectile dysfunction. Physical problem? Or has the wife just let herself go a bit? <laughs> Tonight we look at the ginger community. <laughs> Physical anomaly? Oh, God's cruel joke. <laughs> Tonight on Show Me the Evidence, we look at the traveller community. <laughs> Can they really put a curse on you? <laughs> on likely things to hear at an award ceremony. And the award for best actress this evening goes to John Travolta's wife. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd just like to say to the wife at home, you better not be there when I get home, sister. Because I'm big time now. <laughs> Unlikely lines from a thriller. I'm telling you, Captain, I work best alone! Or sometimes in a team! <laughs> Basically, I'm saying I'm flexible. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Johnny! Do you mind? I'm trying to have a shit in it. <laughs> <laughs> OK, at the end of that round, the pawns go to Russia. Hey,